Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at the Hydropack Flux 1 liter flexible water bottle. So whether you're hiking the Pacific Coast Trail or just running errands in your local town, hydration is really important. And for that reason, reusable water bottles have become a lot more common. They're more environmentally friendly and there's less waste involved. This has also led to quite a revival in different water bottle styles. Uh, the hard traditional steel case bottle has become a lot more popular, but they're a lot bulkier and heavier as a result of their design. This has led to more flexible water bottles on the market. These allow you to pack them really compact, hike with them, and travel with them and still get higher water capacity. So what we're looking at today is Hydropacks Flux 1 liter, and this is their latest variation of the flexible water bottle. Packaging-wise, really simple, just a paper tag on here with uh, information about the bottle. Let me go ahead and take that off and go over the specs. Retail price on this is $20. It's the one liter or 32 fluid ounce capacity. It's available in two colors, Mammoth, which is this gray color, or what they call Malibu, which is blue like the actual card here. It has an interesting nozzle design. It's a spill-proof valve with a membrane on the inside, and it's compatible with 42 millimeter water filters. It also has a dual uh, dual layer laminate construction, which gives it more of a structure than your traditional pouch uh, style flexible water bottle. It also has a very compact roll up design, which lets you pack it away very easily. Now let's take a second to look at the weight of the bottle. This is currently empty. And that comes in at 78 grams, so quite light compared to an equivalent size steel bottle. Now let's look at the fit and finish of the Hydropack Flux 1 liter water bottle. What's unique about this water bottle, it has more of a, a hard water bottle structure to it. You can see even as it's empty, it'll stand up straight. And this is thanks to the dual layer construction, which gives it some rigidity even when it's completely empty. Now the best part about this bottle is the cap itself. So you can see the cap has a traditional twist lock style. So once you hit these little stops, that actually uh, blocks that gap between here and no water will flow. Once you go 90 degrees, it fully opens. It's a little non-intuitive as you can keep rotating. There's no stops, but that doesn't open up anymore. But the nice thing is they actually combined with this traditional twist lock with a membrane. So you can see in here, it has a little plastic membrane and it won't allow water through until there's pressure. So that's a really nice feature that prevents it from spilling when it's flipped over. You also note that the nozzle size on this is fairly small, especially compared to, say, a cycling water bottle, which is usually maybe 50% bigger. Now the top of the cap has this uh, plastic thread. And you also have a nice little ring here. This lets you hold it or attach it to a carabiner on your backpack. You can also put this in a stream to fill it or anything else. So a nice little feature, and this rotates around. So pretty nice to have. Also to note, there is no cap cover, which would be nice to have, uh, especially when you're hiking, if you don't want to get dirt or dust into the cap, they don't have a protective cap on here. Uh, maybe that'd be a feature that'll come out in the future, but you do have to be careful not to get the nozzle dirty. Now going on to the bottle itself, you can see very thick. Again, even empty, you can see it has structure to it. It has the little slit down the side, which is more visible when you're in full light, that actually lets you see through the bottle and it has the measurements written on here. It also has some writing on here with a little bit of branding. But otherwise, nice grippy texture. The logo is on here as well. Uh, really easy to hold, especially with the uh, angled lines on here. And there is rigidity here, so you can see the ring around here holds it pretty well. And even lets it stand up straight, even when it's empty. So it's a nice combination between a standard uh, rigid bottle and a flexible bottle. The other nice feature is you can roll this up. So if I go perpendicular to the handle, I can simply roll this out. And then use this ring to catch the excess of the bottle. And now you have a really compact water bottle you can throw in your backpack for hiking or traveling. So now let's take a look at the bottle outside, fully filled. You can see because it's flexible design, it's still a little bit squishy when you hold it. It gives it a nice texture, so easy to hold. Now, if we look at some of the flow properties of this, 
You can see the flow is about medium because of the smaller diameter of the nozzle. It's not a high flow as much as say a cycling or more uh, performance oriented bottle would be. Now one downside to this bottle is as it becomes emptier, it becomes a little more floppy. And that can be a little harder to hold. You can see about half filled now. It's very squishy. And then if I were to empty it even more, you can see it loses more of the rigidity and it becomes more of a pouch. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Flux 1 liter. What we like about the bottle is the lightweight design. It gives you one liter of capacity without the bulk of a traditional rigid bottle. The nozzle also is lockable and spill proof, which is a nice combination of features you don't typically see together. And the ability to roll it up gives it a really compact size that's great for packing it, whether you're going hiking or traveling. Some of the cons for the bottle is the fact that there are limited color options. It's only the gray and the blue color currently. Also, the nozzle lacks a protective cover, which is really nice to have uh, to keep grime and dirt out of the nozzle itself. And finally, it can be difficult to hold when it's nearly empty as it becomes more of an empty pouch. Taking everything into account, we'd give the Flux 1 liter an 8.3 out of 10. It's a really well-designed, flexible bottle that can be used for hiking or traveling. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com and follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.